another video. And these are going to come to real life, I hope. So I have to press these three times and say pop, pop, pop. And I hope they will come to real life. So if, let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to be getting started. Ready? One, two, three. No way, they actually came to real life. Look at it, guys. This one came to real life. I will do the next one while I'm showing you. Okay. Let's take this one off the board. I did so then I don't have to get another board like this. So this one is off. I just can't believe that we actually got that one. Okay. So now let's do the mini puppet. This one is the button, not this. Okay. So this one is the button. So ready? One, two, three. Pop, pop, pop. Oh my gosh. Actually, it was real life. I can't believe it. I thought it was like just going to be like the normal like circle puppet like this. But I actually can't so now we got these two off the board and two are good to add to my collection okay now we only have the marble and mesh and this one is the button so ready one two three pop 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 oh my gosh guys it actually works Okay, now so we're some other fidgets. So really, all you need is a piece of paper to cut stuff out. And the fidget you want. I already had these, so that's what it is. Not to tell you that this was actually true. Just because, yeah. Now let's do this mochi. This cute little doggy mochi. I'm going to draw it out on this board. And cut it out. Okay, so and you guys can, of course, skip to the end to see how it works. So that is the tongue because it kind of has a little tongue there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this out with some handy dandy scissors. Mochis are like the easiest thing because they have like all their shape and detail and stuff. So I'd suggest doing mochis, but you can do like whatever fidget. Like I did like some kind of hard ones. The hardest one I think I did was definitely the lobster, like the lobster. This one looks like pretty easy, and this one is pretty easy. This one was the easiest because, like, I just really just copied it. Thank you guys for nine for nine subscribers. I'm almost to ten subscribes. Subscribers. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And if you hear any music in the background, that is definitely my sister because she's playing some music oh and also put in the comment what is comments what is your favorite uh, song so now we are going to be doing this one which i'll put it right here for this one okay ready one here i'll show you behind the scenes so pop 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 i put you guys down 
and I don't show you, and then I go like this. I either put it on top, or I take this off and put it. Um, oh my gosh, guys, this is so cool. I got a mochi, and I'm going to show you all my glow-in-the-dark mochis. They are all in here. So here's all my glow-in-the-dark mochis. I have this turtle, this turtle, this cute little piggy. I have this squirrel, this hedgehog, this pot, this cute little like fox sheep, this big uh, penguin on its belly, um, this big, um, text me in the comments what you think this is. I think it is like some kind of sea lion or something like that and a cute little bunny. My sister thinks it's a cat. Vote for team Nanette or team Marlant because, um, of course this looks like a bunny. Why would this ever look like a cat? I mean, like, cats do not have that short of tails. Like, you see? See, that tail's like super small. And it has roller, and the cat, and cats do not have long ears. Here it comes, I'll show you this one. And these are all glow in the dark. show you my favorite fidget bone, which is this one, because it has all the stress balls, mochis, dimples, tangles, and snappers. I have four snappers. You can't see one. See one, two, three, four. I like these two ones because they're really, really good. This one's kind of harder, but this one's really soft. I really like this one because they're really good. This one's just plain though. Yeah. This was my first tie dye snapper, and this one was like my first. And if I, this is a number two. Oh, these are so. I really think I'm obsessed with Orbeez because I have. I have six Orby stress balls. And yeah, I would like you to check out this one right here. It is fidget trading. Hashtag one. Wait, no. Mini fidget trading will be right here. And uh, normal fidget trading are... It will either be... I forgot what it's called. Oh yeah, right. It is the satisfying shorts will be right here. One of my satisfying shorts. I have like I think three or four satisfying shorts. And fidget trading with my little sis. Mini fidget trading is so much fun. And yeah. Comment down below for more content like this one. So I would like you to hit the subscribe button down there. And hit the Smash the big thumbs up down there along it. And I would like you to hit the notification bell that is right next to it. So, bye!